Hi guys, welcome to another video related to Galaxy J7 2016. Yes, and in this video, we are going to see the A7 2017 full port Grace UX for the Android version 2. Yes, uh, for the Galaxy J7 2016, and let's review it now. <laughs> So now let's reboot into recovery mode and start the process of flashing the ROM, press the volume up button the, and the power button. Leave those buttons when we get the boot logo. Okay, team win and let's uh, dim the brightness so it's too high. Now we have the screen, just go to backup first, backup your whole ROM, select everything, go to micro SD or internal of your choice and swipe to backup, then go to wipe, now inside the wipe go to dive system, data, internal, no, only cache, all these four options select and swipe to wipe. Ok after wiping let's go back and go to install, now we have the super no. Okay, we have the Supernova Asset 2 and the Grace UX 2. So the Supernova Asset, uh, I am using it and I am going to give the detailed uh, review of it as soon. So it will be available tomorrow morning. So wait for that too. So flash the EO Grace A7 2017 ROM. Backup EFS, next. And it's, so no extras are here in this uh, ROM, let this flash away directly take this here so I have not tried this uh, version 2 of the A7 2017 port but I feel that the version 2 will be the uh, good band the version 1 and it has fully A7 2017 port and always on display will not work ok I think the developer has also removed that but always on display blue light filter all this will not work because it, they are a hardware oriented and, uh, not hardware oriented uh, it requires some more kernel modifications which are higher and I won't think this will support our J716 yes the chipset supports android nougat definitely our J7216 will get official nougat update from samsung so to get that update you have to flash stock ROM and you can update it through uh, directly your phone or you can update it through Odin when uh, uh, files will be released of the Nougat update. Okay so uh, the installation is done and now we will go to here not go not to go to hell okay. Now select next and here reboot device so nothing more to flash if you want to flash any custom boot logos you can go to the XDA thread download some boot logos and flash it if you want and boot animations too it's reboot device so this is a custom boot logo made by me like the image and okay you can find the thread in the XDA uh, XDA Galaxy SJ7 theme section which is asset boot logo and my name is Ruturaj Kadam so if you want to try this boot logo and this is available in black also so please try it out boot animation is fast now so this is the first boot animation which is fast and thanks to the developer so let this uh, ROM boot up and we'll see the, uh, we'll get the review of the ROM. The ROM has booted up and uh, the UI is similar to A7 2015 with icons of S8. So that's pretty weird and plus good with the great icons, all apps are working. Okay, so for the internet app to work, see if you first time open the internet, it will just show a white screen, it will not open. So the developer has provided the S8, uh, not S8, I don't know, it is a Samsung Internet uh, APK. 
from the sammobile.com so I have put it in my Z card so install this APK the link is in the description for the APK so just download it install it just like this Uh, how many times the internet app is very used like handled ATMB so it's taking a so this is taking too long to install okay app is installed done I will go again down here going to open the internet again and it's now working the 5.4.20 so the internet is now working you can see the dialer it's changed the contacts app the messaging app and the gallery app is the email yes we have the email app the camera now the camera is uh, okay working uh, it's a new camera and it works yes we don't have the aqua mode other modes are here okay and aqua mode is also is uh, like not working because this is JSON 2016, not a JSON 2016 active, and I don't know if the active device is there. And again, uh, so all apps are working okay. Uh, about the calculator, it's working. We have the scale, like uh, you can have the area, length, temperature, all you can measure. And again, we have the Samsung notes. Let's see if it's working. Okay, it's working all these things. Okay, all uh, Samsung notes and all applications are working and it's fluid, so it's not getting any stuck here. Now let's get into settings and view the RAM, storage and everything. So just going to device maintenance. Here's the uh, storage. So storage will be somehow. Here we will get 10 GB free. Because I have some apps here. So we get here 8.9 and some my, my data. So 10 GB free here. I have 1.3 GB of data on my internal SD card. Now we are going again. Okay, okay. I am showing you the uh, device maintenance. And here is the RAM. Now RAM is uh, proper. There is no RAM in storage. Okay, the briefing is uh, somehow disturbing the RAM. But still, we will see with briefing how many RAM. So we get around 802 and if you disable break, uh, sorry for this, if you disable briefing you can get more like 900 or 950 MB RAM and so that is good for gaming and this 2 GB RAM and all these apps are working so let's look upon the extra features, functionality of it, advanced features, accessories, uh, automatic unlock so if you have a smart, smart step it won't work and here are these normal things easy mute wallpapers app applications so uh, this was the review of this rom and if you liked it please press the like button if you didn't like it please press the dislike button and show feedback in the comment section down below and if you really like this video please subscribe please press the subscribe button and also the bell icon to have instant updates about my new videos and also i'm going to make jason 2016 videos 15 videos and many more devices which I'm going to buy and making videos on them. So videos and videos and videos until the development will end. And okay, more if the development ends, I will start it again. <laughs> Just joking. So goodbye and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.